This place seats over 80,000 people, and you can bet there won't be one left empty once this game gets started. There are some clouds in the sky for tonight's matchup between the Texas Longhorns and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Hi, folks. I'm Brad Nessler. Joining me in the booth are Coach Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. What a game we have in store for you today as two rivals are about to go at it for state bragging rights. Let's get this thing started with a coin toss sponsored by Coke Zero. Texas is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And there's the opening boot. Tackle made at the 21. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. The offense will start at the 21-yard line. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Look at the throw. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at the 37. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. He's tackled at the 50. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Ace backfield. They motion to the right. Dangerous pass here that falls incomplete. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's brought down in the open field. And a good call that time. Yeah, and in my opinion, it's plays like this that can have a lot of success against this defense. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Gets it off. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. It's first and 10. Two tight ends here. Catches it, and he's taken down at the 41. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First and 10. Two tight ends set. Throws it to the outside. The defender had it and then dropped it. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. High formation here. And he's immediately tackled. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. They'll throw on first down. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. 
almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football. He came up with a big defensive play. Yep. What I like is he didn't get called for pass interference in that play. Takes it right. He can't get back to the line. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense because he's releasing a safety to stop the run. And Kirk, that leaves a big hole out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. He drops back. Looks for his tight end over the middle. The completion won't even be close to the sticks, and that's going to bring up fourth down. The defense knew the pass was coming, so they made sure they didn't get it deep. Well, they'll give them the short yards in that situation, just as long as they keep them from getting a first down. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Got it, and brought down immediately. Four yards gained. It was a simple play. The quarterback made his reads and didn't force the ball. But they got some decent yards out of it. Knocked down, incomplete. Good job by the defensive line to clog up the passing lanes. That's what you got to do. Keep your eye on the quarterback, and when he lets go, get your arms up. This one's broken up. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. He gets it away. He's to the 40. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you, the blocking was tremendous on that play. You're absolutely right. He made some good moves, but the blocking was solid. Back to pass. Caught over the middle. Tackle made at about the 35. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Gets a snap, and he's in trouble. And they make the stop at the 19-yard line. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Back to pass. Gets it out to him again. The defense is playing all right, but they still need to be concerned with these types of short to mid-range passes. Yep, he saw an opening on the left side of the field and delivered a great ball. And we have reached the end of the first quarter, still no score. At the end of the first quarter, the score is tied. Ace backfield. Complete touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Well, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. the PAT. That's going to lead us to our Pontiac drive summary. Texas to kick this one off. Kicks off. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. Throws complete, he's got room to work. He just couldn't juke the defender, and he's brought down. And he showed nice touch there on that pass. First and 10. 
Ball in 34. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Throws and it's no good. He's ruled out. Good effort there by the receiver. But just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. Second and ten. They line it up with three receivers. They go with a run. He tackles him for a loss. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. And I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Throws complete. He's got space to work. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. And he's brought down at the 11. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. When you drop back to pass and see zone, it's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. He drops back. Throws to the right to his fullback. Look here. These guys have to try to establish a running game. Then later, they can start to pass it. They've got to let the big guys up front do their job and pave the way for the running back. He steps out around the four-yard line. I like the fact that the defense has taken away the long ball, but it doesn't help matters if they keep allowing the quarterback to get off those short throws. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Touchdown, Texas Tech! So they hit the halfback on the short pass for the touchdown. Boy, what a great story. They've talked about the commitment that this guy has made in practice to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball right there with Payton. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Texas Tech to kick this one off. He kicks it off. He'll return it from the six. And down he goes at the 38. I got to tell you guys, the offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out. And most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. Line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter cover. And he's taken down at the 47. Well, Coach, he just looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Yep. Great play by the linebacker to read that pass and come away with the interception. Right there. Great play. It's first and 10. Ball in the 47. Offset eye formation in the backfield. And they motion a guy to the right. Throws complete. He's got room to work. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They line up in the shotgun. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Third and two, ball on the 39-yard line. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 25. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Setting up blockers. The running back's got it on the screen. There's a player shaking up on the play. First and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. They line up in the shotgun. Three wide. And down he goes. Around the five-yard line. Two-yard pickup. They got it to the tight end on that play, but he did not get very far off the line of scrimmage. 
That brings up second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Man in motion. Tackle at about the five-yard line. I'd say he got one or two feet on that try. He took a shot on that play. He better check and make sure all of his limbs are still attached. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. From the gun. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And they back up three yards on that play. Now that's not exactly what they were looking for. They couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Texas Tech could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Texas Tech is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. From the five-yard line. Across the 30. And they push him out around the 42-yard line. He got the team pumped up with that return. Oh, boy, he sure did. And that's the perfect, beautiful thing about special teams, my friend. It's beautiful. Throw, he caught it. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. It's second down and four to go. Timeout called by the offense. The backfield's in an offset eye formation. Looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. We'll see if they can make another defensive stop right here on third down. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Down at the 33 yard line. That outside linebacker better blitz with a sense of urgency next time. When you blitz on a passing play, you better get in there. Otherwise, the quarterback will shred you to pieces. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And the defense gets their second of the game. Before the game, guys, the coach told me it was very important that his team win the turnover battle. This interception certainly helps. Well, it doesn't matter how many yards you gain or passes you complete. If you turn the ball over a lot, then you're usually going to lose the game. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He looks to throw on first down. It's broken up. Great job getting a hand on the football that time. And if you notice also, he did an excellent job of playing the ball and not interfering on that play. He lets it go. Finds the junior. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The score here at Texas Memorial Stadium is Texas Tech 10, Texas 7. Texas Tech is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. He's to the 10. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 31. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. Two tight ends set. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Second and 10, ball on their own 31. 
Single back set, three wide receivers. Looks to pass. Pressure coming, and he's sacked. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Single set backfield. Gets it. He's in space. The 50. At the 40. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Two tight ends here. First down, look at the throw. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. They line up in a double tight set. Passes and it's almost picked off. It was the safety that almost came up with a big play. Not a very good read here by the quarterback. Kirk, I don't think he even saw the safety, but this offense is lucky that he couldn't hang on to the football. He drops back. He's wrapped up for the sack. That was just good pass rush by the defensive end. Well, the offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Timeout called by the offense. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. They'll bring him down at the 27. Did they really make a good choice there? I don't think so. You gotta play a smart, punt the football there. Yeah, you're losing, but that doesn't mean you throw in the towel and get crazy on fourth down. I don't like that call at all. Well, now let's just see how much this will come back to haunt them. It's first down, going the other way. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. One man backfield. They run the middle and nothing there. And he gets a yard on the run. The ball carrier almost snuck by there, but this junior linebacker made a good stop. Yeah, these linebackers don't miss too many tackles. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Texas Tech is up a field goal. Hunts it away. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and ten. They'll work from the shotgun. Let's go. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. the 20-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Six-yard pickup. And he did a good job of not forcing the play. It was a simple throw and a good catch for a six-yard game. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Good pick up there. Yeah, but you know what? I thought the receiver was covered pretty well that time. Sensational effort by the receiver to come away with the catch there. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Ace backfield. 
around the one yard line. A pickup of about three. There was no room for the halfback to go anywhere right there. That was a design run blitz by the middle linebacker, and they played the run about as well as you could. They line up in a double tight set. Back to pass. Throws it in front for the touchdown. Good ball getting the ball in the halfback's hand. Yeah, the defense can't overlook the running back going out for a pass. Or he'll get the pay. Pay about six points for him. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Off. from his own goal line at the 30 he got hit hard the offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out offset eye formation in the backfield gets it he's in space and he's taken down at the 48 Nice gain on the play. The ball was thrown perfectly. Good precision there. They'll work from the shotgun. Looking to throw. Throws right. Intercepted. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. Takes a snap, and he's in trouble. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. We've played three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. Texas, 14. Texas Tech, 10. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And down he goes at the 32. A decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, they'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. Takes a snap, and he's in trouble. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Now that's what I like to see. This first down came because this kid was not afraid to go over the middle. Nice job of beating the man coverage on the slant route. He drops back. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Back to pass. And they make the stop around the 25 yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He's looking to pass. They'll bring him down at the 12. Pretty good gain right there. You know, the thing that impresses me about this offense is their ability to spread the ball around. They're not afraid to go to their tight ends, their tailbacks, and in this case, their fullback. Nicely designed play. First down, looking to throw. Going to the end zone, incomplete. In the end zone, and he dropped the pick. Are you kidding me? He basically just blew a chance to take points away from the offense. That's huge. Ace backfield. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. This linebacker wasn't letting this guy go anywhere. Very nice tackle. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. They're crowding the line. Quick toss to the end zone, and he just missed the pick. Why not try for the points there, guys? Good question, Brad. I would have lined up for the field goal try rather than go for it. This late in the game, you should always be conservative. Take the three points if you can get them. That's what I would have done. 
So now that we have a first down going the other way, let's see if this offense can take advantage. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Across midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. What a run to take the lead. And they are just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. I think it's safe to say that this next possession will be huge. I mean, really huge. But you can't ask for much more in an action-packed game like this, right, Coach? I love it! Texas Tech ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. He'll return this one from the seventh. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Coach, Herbie, what's your take right now? You know, they would love to answer that touchdown with one of their own. Yeah, Coach, and the important thing is to at least put your kicker in range for a chance to tie this up. Need to move the ball now on offense. Slings it out there incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Taken down at the 44. A gain of nine yards on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Two tight ends here. Knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Well, they're staying alive. This game is still well within their reach. I'm not giving up on them yet. They have no time to waste, though, Kirk. They're going to have to take some shots downfield and can't give up any sacks at this point. They'll throw on first down. Difficult pass, and it's almost picked off. <laughs> I love it when they look at their hands after a drop, as if their hands should have done something different. That's kind of the same look you give your golf club sometimes, right, Coach? He drops back. Throws it in. He wants more. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. And when you make plays like these young men, you end up being named the Russell Athletic Player of the Game. The ball pops free. Look at him go. To the 20. And he will score. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. They really took the pressure off themselves there. That was a great return for a touchdown, and it gives them some breathing room on defense. Yeah, this offense has a lot of work to do now. They're really going to have to fight to get back in this ball game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks off. Gathered in at the six. 25. This offense was infected by the turnover bug there last time. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. And you know, we talk time and time again about how important turnovers are. You know, you know what they say? The team that commits the least amount of turnovers usually wins the game. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. The offense caught a break there. That was not a very good pass by this quarterback. Yeah, Coach, he threw it right into the hands of the defender. He's lucky that he couldn't hold on to it. That's why this kid is on defense, not offense. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. He's going to go for the home run. And he's brought down at the 48-yard line. 300 yards passing on the day for this quarterback, Kirk. He's been successful picking at this defense all day long. Yeah, Coach, he's really tearing up this secondary. Gets a snap, and here comes the defense. Falling back, complete. Tackle made at the 48. The defense is all over that pass. Like glue. I'm telling you, this defense is tough. They line up in a double tight set. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 48. Oh, 
Drops back to pass. On the throw, incomplete pass. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass. Especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. They line up in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. Throws it deep downfield. He goes down at the 11. The man coverage got beat with a bomb that time, guys. Excellent read here by the quarterback to see the mismatch with his receiver. His man is simply faster than his secondary. That's a nice-looking pass to pick up the first. He threw it up there and said, go get it! They got the touchdown here, but they really didn't leave themselves enough time on the clock, Coach. Yeah, Kirk, if they could have gotten into the end zone with maybe another 30 seconds or so on the clock, then I think they still have a chance. But now, ah! And they get the two. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Texas Tech, 24. Texas, 22. Texas needs a miracle and then some as they set up for this onside kick. Texas has their hands team on the field for the onside kick. Here's the onside. He got hit hard. They had nothing going for him on that kick return. Oh, you're right, my friend. And that's because of excellent kickoff coverage. They'll go to work at the 48-yard line. First and 10. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes an ease. We've got a second and 11. This is a solid defense. Try it out. Takes a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Texas Tech, 24, Texas, 22. Kirk, as we take a look at our Pontiac game-changing performance, your thoughts on this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Texas had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Folks, that's going to wrap up another broadcast of NCAA Football 09. We'd like to thank all of you for playing, and we hope you join us again real soon. Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody. Thank you for attending today's ball game. Please drive home safely.